How to enable FTP anonymous authentication in iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Sami. Okay, so let's log on to Windows Server 2012 machine with administrative rights. Let me type down my very secret password. Okay. Hit enter. And as usual, server manager has automatically opened. Let's open the IS manager. On the IS manager, click on the server node, select the sites. And from here, as you can see in our previous tutorial, we have created a default website, which is over here. This is a default FTP website, which is using IP address. And on the authentication, you can see basic authentication, which is enable and anonymous authentication is right now disabled. Let's click on enable. Now anonymous authentication is also enabled. Let's go back to the default site. Okay. Here is the authorization. Let's click on it. Now we are going to add an another rule. I'm going to select all anonymous users. I will give anonymous users read permission so that if any anonymous user connects to the FTP server, they, they can only read. Anonymous user cannot write anything to the FTP site nor can delete anything from the FTP site. So let's click one step back. Okay. In our previous tutorial, you have seen how we can restrict the access to the user with a specific IP using FTP IP address and domain restriction. I have removed the rule which we have added in our previous tutorial. So now we have to do one more thing, which is to give permission to the folder, which anonymous user will going to use. So let's click on edit permission. Here you can see the path of the folder and the name of the folder is default FTP. So let's click on security tab, click on edit. And here you can see FTP user is already added, which we have added in our previous tutorial. He have write permission. Now let's click on add, advance, find now. Here let's find a group name, which is I user. So let's check it out. Okay. Here's it. I U S R. Let's click. Okay. Okay. And if you see here, the user, this user have read permission, list folder content and read and execute these three permissions. This user have, he cannot write anything. So let's click on. Okay. Okay. So our work over here has been completed. Now let's go to our client machine and check it out. What happens when we try to connect using anonymous user. So just hold on. Okay. Here I'm using the free FTP software FileZilla. So let's click on new site and here I'm going to type anonymous. Let me type it down. Just to hold on for a second. Okay. And the server IP address that is 192.168.1.100. Okay. As you can see, the anonymous user is already selected. So I do not have to do anything over here. Now let's click on connect. Okay. As you can see, I have successfully connected to the server. That means anonymous user has been authenticated to the server successfully. Now all the content from the server directory, you can see over here. And this place is empty, which is my local machine. Let me select my desktop. Here you can see the desktop content over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this folder. Just a second. Okay. Now I'm going to copy all of the files from the server to my local desktop. So just hold on, right click and click on download. And all the files from the server has been copied to my local machine onto my desktop, as you can see over here. Okay. So let's copy all of the files from the server to a copy folder, which I have created on my desktop. So right click and click on download and all of the folders has been downloaded to my local folder, which has a name of copy. So let's close this. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I try to paste anything from my local system to FTP site. So let's open my desktop and uh, okay. Here you can see one file, which has a name test. Let's drag this file and drop it onto the server. So just hold on. Okay. As you can see, it is giving me error. Access is denied. That means the user only have read permission and cannot write anything nor cannot delete anything. So let's try to delete something. Okay. Right click and click on delete. And once again, it is giving me access is denied. 
that means the permissions which we have given to the anonymous user is working perfectly fine so now let's go to our another client machine which is using windows 7 and he's using ftp basic authentication to authenticate to the ftp server so let's close the filezilla just hold on okay so now we are on windows 7 machine let's open filezilla okay click on site manager and here you can see the site with the name of Peter Christ which we have earlier created in our previous tutorial which is using the IP address 192.168.1.100 and the username is FTP user which is using basic authentication and the user have read and write permission type down the very secret password of the user ok let me type it down now click ok and there I have successfully connected to the FTP server as you can see directory listing successful now what we are going to do I'm going to copy all of the folder from the server to my local machine so let me select the folder where I'm going to copy all of the files onto the desktop there you can see one folder download which is over here let me open it okay and let's copy all of the folder up from the server to my local machine right click and click on download as you can see onto the folder all the files has been came so let's close this now and let's see what happens when I try to copy from my local machine to the server okay there's a test file I'm going to drop it onto the server and as you can see I have successfully able to copy this file to the server and I can also delete files from the server and if you see over here it is showing me deleting command successful so this completes our tutorial of how to configure FTP anonymous authentication don't forget to watch our next video which will be very informative for you hello friends thanks for watching this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update when we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or you can catch me on Google Plus, Google Talk, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Semi powered by tech.peterchrist.com and you are watching me on YouTube.